Gotham. So yeah. Um just Oh, sorry guys. Got it. Ah, oh, sorry. Dropped you guys there for a second. Yes. I just wanted to do this little intro cuz you know why not? Um uh, so yeah. Gotham was up tonight. And way better than last week's episode. I like this episode. I'm just going to tear this piece of paper out because I hate this notebook so bad. And it's just not going to stay in there. But yes. Viper was this week's episode call. And it was amazing. It was a really good. Well, I can't say it's amazing. It was a really good episode. It had a lot of good parts to it. And he, I'm going to do my top five moments. And then I'm going to just give my rating at the end of the review. Alright, so, number five would definitely be everyone is pretty much against Falcone. And that is the sucky thing because this guy is just like, he's getting, just, everybody's just going after him. Like Mooney, Fish Mooney and this other guy Falco that Falcone has hired, I'm pretty sure is hired. And those two run their own corporation. She's sleeping with that one guy. And they, Fish Mooney is about to go against Falcone. So I think she is trying to take him out. You know. And so then I think she'll take out the guy who she's sleeping with too. I presume. Unless they will join, unless they join together. Which I don't think that'll do. But if you guys think that'll do, please let me know in the comment section below. I always want to hear about your opinions. Just, you know, just drop it in the comment section. But yes. Um. What else is there? Also, okay, so, and then Maroney is against him. At the end of the episode, you just see Maroney just takes his, takes, robs him pretty much. And it's just like, whoa, okay, this guy is meaning business. He's ready to take out and go on a full-scale fracking war. So, yeah. All right, number four is the Penguin reveals that he is Oswald Cobblepot. The Penguin becomes his nickname for Maroney, and that Gordon has to confirm the Penguin's story after he tells Maroney the whole truth about himself. So, yes, this scene, I love this scene. This is my favorite scene in the entire episode. It was just amazing. I thought it was well done, and it was just amazing. The one the one scene where I'm talking about where Gordon is interrogated. I was just like, holy crap, this is just perfect. I wish it, the whole episode could be like this. It was just I loved it so much. And so, yeah. Penguin is working with Maroney and reveals his identity. Stupidest move. I'm sorry, Penguin. You're stupid. Seriously. Why? So, yes. Really good part. Love that episode. Love that part. Favorite part. Number three is Wayne Enterprises has a secret sector, like a secret group, that is in on the Viper-Venom stuff. And this Viper-Venom stuff is a... Is what Bane uses in Batman and Robin, and what he uses in the comics. And I was like, okay, Viper, that's probably what they're gonna use for Killer Croc. And I'm like, so then as the episode went on, I'm like, oh no, maybe that's Venom, like what Bane uses, and it was. I was like, well, okay, that's pretty cool. So yeah, I'm um, really liking this, the whole conspiracy theory and everything. It's really cool, and it's a really good dynamic. All right, number two would have to be definitely Bruce and Alfred are investigating this whole web thing, and it really calls back to the comics that Batman, that guy right there, Bruce Wayne, is the world's greatest detective. He has figured out so much of this intricate stuff about Arkham that nobody else really has. I'd say, well, that people have, but it's just really in detail, especially for a kid his age. And then Alfred is helping him, and it's just really going well. And I believe that Black Chick, who's working, was working with the bad guy this week. I believe he knows that she is bad. I'm pretty sure. So yes. Um. All right. And then Alfred is pretty much just there to help him, and that's a good thing. Alfred is supposed to be there to help him, and that is great. Good job for you, Alfred. You did good for once. You don't have to bury another member of the White family. Sorry, guys. Alright, so, yes, number one was definitely B, in my opinion, Gordon realizes that there is nothing ever found in Gotham. And that's just really a big callback to what, until Batman comes along, because, in my opinion, 
Gordon had to go to this warehouse, and there was nothing there. Nothing that could lead him to the trace because these bad guys, they get it all cleaned up right away. They just get it all cleaned up before they even get ahead of the shot, you know. Before they get ahead of Gordon, it's just like, Dude, you should have been a little bit earlier. It's just gone. And it's just like, holy crap, that sucks. And it does. And so then, you're just left with that part. And I just, in my opinion, I think this is the greatest part of the episode. Is not Gordon cannot really do anything to stop the corruption in the city. There's nothing that you can do. It's just impossible. Until Batman comes around. Until you strike, until you strike fear into the hearts of those who actually... Who are high? Who think they're so high and mighty? And then you strike fear into them, and then they'll stop. So yeah, that's my top five moments. Top five. So yeah, really like this episode. Four out of five. Gotham, Gotham City Police Department badges. Really good. And yeah, can't wait for the Agents of Shield tomorrow. Waiting for that. It's gonna be awesome. I'll see you guys later.